Hello, it's me Sake. So this is a friction chart for circular ducts and we will show how we will take the readings from, from the chart and, um, and I will show the axis and all the levels here. So the first, this is a horizontal axis or you can call it an X axis. This is a friction loss in millimeter per uh, water per meter. So it will be like the pressure loss you can also convert it into Pascal um, you, you can also convert it into Pascal but it will be per meter right and um, this proportion is the uh, volume air volume or Q uh, and it will be in meter cube per second so if we have in the question as meter cube per minute you can convert it to second by dividing with 60 and so this axis this portion from here to here it is the diameter of the pipe as it is a circular duct circular pipe so it will be uh, uh, it will be the diameter and this will go in this direction up and the velocity right the velocity of the flow in the pipe is in this way so we can see if, let's take an example uh, for for a velocity of 10 and for a velocity of 10 and a flow rate that is q 10 meter cube per second and a velocity Pass again. What will be the diameter and what will be the velocity, or, or what will be the friction? Right, the friction loss in millimeter. So let's see. Uh, here we have velocity ten. From here, I'm sorry. Here we have two. It is three. It is four. It is five. It is six, seven, eight, and here you can see ten. Right. This is the line of ten. So it will be in this line, and it will intersect with the 10 meter cube that is from this line and it will be in this way at this point so it will intersect at this point so let's see if we if we if we go downward we will cut the horizontal in this point that is in this point and we can call it pf that is 0 0.08 i think i'm right yes it is 0 0.08 millimeter per meter that is millimeter of water per meter and you can convert it into Pascal and uh, we can also find the diameter that is uh, let's see what will be the diameter here it will be around um, diameter will be around one one five zero slightly less more than one one zero zero that is one thousand one hundred and uh, let's see if we increase the diameter right if we increase the diameter if we increase this uh, this is a conceptual part if we increase the diameter we can see that the velocity right if we, if we go in this way we want to increase the diameter of the duct and the vo volume flow rate will also increase and uh, and definitely the the friction will decrease but the velocity it will decrease and in the same way if we think about increasing the velocity right if we think about increasing the velocity like for example for a constant for example for a constant volume flow rate and i want to uh, increase the velocity right i'm going in this way but if we see if we see it will it will it will be decreasing the it will be decreasing the diameter so this is our conceptual part and thank you for watching